Shalom, body of Messiah. Mark Pulley here with Yahweh Yeshua Assembly in Fort Myers, Florida, bringing you another teaching from Yahweh's laws and commandments. Today is the first day of the week. Praise Yah that we will have a blessed week. I'm hoping this is just a quick, short word of encouragement that I can give you concerning himself, Yahshua, took our infirmities. So let's look, we're just going to look at two scriptures, unless Yah's spirit quickens me to more. But let's look at Psalm 103. Psalm 103. It says, Bless Yahweh, O my soul, and all that is within me, Bless his holy name. Then it says, Bless Yahweh, O my soul, and forget not all of his benefits. Now when Yahshua went to the stake and was crucified on the stake, everybody understands that Yahshua took their sin and that he paid the price. He was the Lamb of Yahweh who took away the sin of the world. Everybody that is a believer understands that. And that and it says in verse 3, Who forgives all thy iniquities? Who heals all thy diseases? Who redeems thy life from destruction? Who crowns thee with loving kindness and tender mercies? So on the stake... We know that Yahshua paid the price for us to be forgiven. And all we need to do is call upon Yah's name and be repentant and turn from our wicked ways. And then the scripture says, he will cleanse us and forgive us of all unrighteousness. Why is that so easy when in the Torah they had to have these in-depth animal sacrifices? The reason it's so easy to be forgiven is because the sacrifice has already been provided for. And his name is Yahshua, the son of Yahweh. He was the sacrifice for our sin. So we see here in the book of Psalm that he forgives all our iniquities and heals all our diseases. So that's the foundation. You cannot think or believe and be accurate that Yah will forgive you of your sin when you confess it and turn from it. But you don't know if he will heal you. That's inaccurate thinking. That's inaccurate believing. Because everywhere that the, the scripture talks about healing and forgiveness. It's both. It's not one or the other. And the Messiah paid the price. He paid the price. Turn now with me, if you would, to Matthew chapter 8. Now, we need to understand that the Torah, the prophets, and the Psalms 
are the foundation for the New Testament or for what is called the New Testament, which it isn't new. Something to understand that at least 50% of the scriptural quotations that the Messiah gave, the apostles gave, all stemmed out of the Torah, the prophets, and the Psalms. And the Old Testament is the foundation upon which the New Testament was founded. And the reason I read that out of the book of Psalms is for you to see that even in the Old Testament, being forgiven of your iniquities and being healed of your diseases went hand in hand. You cannot have the belief and be accurate that Yahweh will forgive you of your iniquities. But you don't know if he'll heal you of your bodies, heal you of your infirmities. That's inaccurate thinking. That's inaccurate believing. Look at what the Messiah said. All right, now if you read and study all of chapter 8, just to point out a few things, a leper, in verse 1, came to the Messiah to be healed of leprosy. Now, leprosy, there was no cure for, for it. And he said, if you will, you can make me clean. And what did Yahshua say to the leper in verse 3? I will be clean. So right there, he lets us know what his will is. He didn't say it wasn't his will. He didn't say it may not be Yah's will. But he said, I will be clean. And then it says, and immediately, his leprosy was cleansed. And then he told him to go fulfill what was written in the law in verse 4, and show yourself to the priests and offer the gift that Moses commanded for a testimony unto them. So obviously, this leper understood Torah. All right, then Yahshua enters into Capernaum, and a Roman centurion, a pagan, came to him and said, my servant is at home, sick of the palsy, and grievously tormented. And what was Yahshua's response? I will come and heal him. I will come and heal him. Now there's twice that Yahshua said that he would come and heal them. That his will was to come and heal whomever it was. And the centurion said, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. And Yahshua said to this centurion, this Roman centurion who was an enemy of Israel, he said, I have not found such great faith, not even in Israel, because all he needed to see was, or hear, was Yahshua's word. And see, that's great faith. When all you need to see is what the word of Yahweh says about something or the word of the Messiah says about something. And he says, I will be clean, be healed. And then he said in verse 13, Yahshua said to the centurion, Go thy way as you have believed, 
it shall be done unto you. Underline that, write that down. As you believe, it shall be done unto you. If you believe that you will be forgiven every time you ask Yahweh to forgive you, it will be done unto you. If you believe that he will heal you, it will be done unto you. But if you don't believe it, that also will be done unto you, meaning you won't receive anything. Be it according to your faith. Now remember, in Matthew, I believe it was 9, verses 27 through 30, two blind men came to Yahshua. And they said to him, they wanted to be healed of their blindness. And the Messiah said, do you believe I am able to do this? And they said, yes, master. And then he said, be it according to your faith. Be it according to your faith. So, your faith has very much to do with whether or not you are going to receive, first of all, forgiveness. Secondly, the miraculous. Whether it's provision, whether it's healing, whether it's deliverance, whether it's a sound mind, whatever it is, your faith believing that Yahweh and Yahshua will do it. Now, remember Psalm 107, verse 20, He sent His Torah, His instructions, His laws and commandments, His teachings, His Word, to you to deliver you from all your destruction. He's sending this word to you to deliver you. One of the benefits of, of ministering this word to you is it reminds me that Yahweh's sending his instructions to me to deliver me from infirmities. So, we need to use our faith. We need to believe it is done. Now, is it done for you to be forgiven? Is that a finished fact that whatever needed to take place has already taken place through the Messiah on the stake and because of that you receive your forgiveness yes well the same is true concerning your infirmities it doesn't matter whether you're 70 years old 80 years old 110 years old himself took your infirmities removed your sicknesses just as much as he took your sin your rebellion your idolatry your iniquity your transgressions things that you did that were wrong that were anti Yahweh's laws and commandments that grieved the heart of the Father. He took them. Yahshua took them upon himself when he went to the stake. He took your sin and it says here in Verse 17, he did all this, he healed, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, himself took our infirmities and removed 
our sicknesses. So did he do it or didn't he? We cannot look at our life to determine whether that's an accurate statement. We have to look at what is written in the Torah, in the scriptures, in the Psalms, in the prophets. And the prophet Isaiah said in Isaiah 53 verse 4, himself took your infirmities. Here, let's, let's turn there real quick. Isaiah, the book of Isaiah 53. As I'm turning there, bear with me. Isaiah 53. We need to understand this. We need to have great faith in the fact that himself took our infirmities, removed our sicknesses on the stake, just as much as he took our sin and our iniquity and transgressions and removed them and the stain of them and the penalty of them off our life. It says, verse 4, Surely he has borne our sicknesses, carried our pain, yet we, we esteemed him plagued, smitten by Elohim and afflicted. He was wounded... For our transgressions. He was wounded. Now when was Yahshua wounded? When they crucified him with the cat and nine tails. 39 times. He was wounded for our transgressions. On the stake, he was wounded. He was beaten. He was crucified. He was murdered for our transgressions. We need to believe that. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his wounds we are healed. Now, if you believe that Yahshua removed and paid the price for your iniquities and transgressions, you need to see that he also paid the price. That word born in the Hebrew means to remove to a far distance. He removed our sicknesses and our pains equally just as he removed our transgressions and our iniquities. He removed our pains and infirmities. And the Messiah, Yahshua, the son of Yahweh said in chapter 8 of Matthew that the healing and deliverances that were taking place was to fulfill, was to complete, was to bring to pass the prophetic word that Isaiah prophesied that himself took our infirmities. He removed our infirmities. And he removed our sicknesses. And he removed our transgressions and iniquities. So on the stake, Yahshua didn't just pay the price for your sin to be forgiven. He paid the price for you to be healed of and delivered 
from all infirmities, which means weaknesses. So if you have high blood pressure, if you have sugar diabetes, if you have knees that have gone bad, ankles that have gone bad, worn out, hips that have been uh, full of pain, arthritis, cancer, whatever it is, he paid the price and he completed what was required for our healing and our forgiveness on the stake. He shed his blood so that by his stripes you can be forgiven of your iniquities and you can be healed of all of your infirmities. Whether it's baldness. See, I, there's things I'm still believing for. And this is helping my faith. That he took all my infirmities. Every infirmity in our bloodline, Yahshua took. Every infirmity in your bloodline, the Messiah removed. He took upon himself on the stake. And by his stripes, by the price and the penalty he went through, we can be healed of our infirmities. And he wants to heal us and his will is to heal us of all of our infirmities. But we need to use our faith. We need to believe what thus saith Yahweh. Yahweh had Isaiah prophesy that the Messiah was coming, and when he came, he would pay the price for your iniquities and transgressions to be removed and you will no longer be stained by them. But you would be delivered from their destruction. He also prophesied, meaning Isaiah, that the Messiah would take all your infirmities all your pains, all your sicknesses, all your diseases, and that you could be delivered from them. It's whether or not you're going to believe that himself took your infirmities. Whether or not you're going to understand he paid the price for my infirmities. I am not going to accept these infirmities another day in my life. I'm not going to put up with this pain another day in my life. I'm not going to put up with this temptation of whatever the transgression was or the generational curse. It might be um, addiction. It might be drunkenness. It might be lust. It might be perversion. It might be anger, it might be hatred, it might be fear, it might be anxiety, whatever it might be. You have to make the decision and understand that Yahshua himself took that iniquity, iniquity excuse me, and transgression. You might have willingly been a participant in those things in days past, but from this day forward, no more. And just as you might have been a participant with sickness and disease and infirmities and pain, you are not going to participate in Satan's game of disease and sickness any longer. Why? Yahshua himself went to the stake, not just to pay for your iniquities and transgressions, but he paid for your pain, whether that's emotional or physical, and your sicknesses. 
Himself took all your infirmities. Himself took all your infirmities. You need to write that down. You need to listen to this teaching as well as other teachings about this over and over until it gets deep in your spirit. Now, one thing I have noticed as the last few days I've researched this online, I've not found one Torah ministry teaching on this. Not one. Now, there might be some out there, and I'm sure there are, because I don't know everybody. But you see tons of teachings by Christians on this subject. And I will say that Christians in this area are a lot further ahead in their understanding about what the Messiah fully did on the stake than Torah, Messianic, the way Hebraic believers are. Now they don't understand about and they don't accept about pagan and, and, and his name and the Sabbath and Yahweh's laws and commandments. We get that. But they understand, many of them, especially the charismatic, Pentecostal, prophetic communities. They understand about the price that the Messiah paid on the stake. They understand about the gifts of the Spirit and the power of the Most High at work in our lives. They get that. They just don't get about the Sabbath, about His feast, about His name, so on and so forth, and many other things. So I tip my hat to them. We need, as Torah believers, to come up to a higher level of understanding of all that the Messiah did on the stake and be delivered from our religious traditions that justify and excuse and try to say that Yahshua did not mean that we could be healed of all of our infirmities because that is the context of Matthew 8. And when you read Matthew 4, verse 23 and 24, it says that he healed all that were sick and diseased. He delivered all that were in that meeting of demonic oppression and that were demonized we need to understand this and we need to come up to a higher level and understand that the messiah said himself took our infirmities he did all these things to confirm to establish to complete to bring to pass the prophetic word that Isaiah prophesied in Isaiah 53. He did this in his ministry and on the stake. So I pray that this encourages you. I pray that this stirs up your inner man with faith in himself taking all of your infirmities that you understand that from the beginning Yahweh said in Exodus 15 26 that if you obey his laws and commandments he will be Yahweh Rapha I am Yahweh your healer he also said that he would forgive all your iniquities and heal all your diseases. And when you drop down, to, I believe it's in Psalm 103, and Psalm, let's turn there quickly, Psalm 103, uh, and I believe it's verse number 18. See, Christianity teaches that we, not, we can't forget those benefits. But now who's the benefit for? Verse 18. 
to those who keep his covenant, to those who remember his commandments, to do them. So the benefit that Psalm 103 verse 2 is talking about and who he's talking to are those that keep his covenant, obey his laws and commandments, and remember to do his commandments. And Yahshua in Matthew 8 is talking to the people of Israel to the people that already understood about his laws and commandments, to the people that Yahshua came to seek and to save the, the lost sheep of the house of Israel. See, that's something Christianity doesn't think or believe. They believe it's for them. No, it's for Israel. And it can be for them if they will turn away from their paganism and turn to Yahweh and to the Messiah and not a false name for a false deity that Constantine, Constantine created. But that's another story. So I pray this helps you understand that himself paid the price on the stake, not just for your forgiveness, but he also took all your infirmities. And I would encourage you, whatever infirmity you have in your life, name it. For example, high blood pressure infirmity, Yahshua took, he removed it, and by his stripes I'm healed. Anxiety infirmity, Yahshua took it and removed it from my life. And by his stripes, I am healed. Knee, hip, back, nerves, ligaments, eyes, baldness, whatever. Infirmity. Yahshua removed it on the stake and I will no longer accept it. And I will do what he said to do in Mark 11, 23. I speak to this mountain. Be thou removed and get out of my life by the power of Yah's name. And I believe that it's done. Mark 11, 24. Whatsoever things you desire when you pray, believe you receive them and you shall have them. Don't look to your body to see if it's done. Believe that it's done because Messiah said himself took your infirmities. That's a done deal. And I get it. I understand. Because I've had some infirmities for a long time. That it's sometimes difficult. Sometimes it's hard, right? Almost feels like impossible. But all things are possible to him who believes that himself took our infirmities. And so I set myself in agreement with you that whatever infirmity is in your life, the, the master, Yahshua, he removed it on the stake and by his stripes, by his stripes, you are healed. Himself took it. Himself removed it. To fulfill what was written by Isaiah the prophet. So Father, we just thank you. Father, we praise you. Father, we worship you. Father, we love you. Father, we adore you. Father and Yahshua, we say thank you that you sent this word to heal me. You sent all of your Torah, your prof the words in the prophets and in the Psalms, and throughout from Genesis through Revelation, to deliver me from all my destructions. So I receive deliverance this day from the power of your word. From the power of your word. 
from your instructions. And your instructions, Proverbs 4, 20 through 22 says, is healing to all my flesh. So I receive it. And I thank you that I will no longer be plagued by infirmities. Why? Yahshua took them. I might have to stand in faith against them, but I no longer will yield to them. I no longer will give in to them. I no longer will talk about them like that's just the way it is. I no longer will do that. I will talk about that himself took my infirmity. Himself took my ankle infirmities. Himself took my toe infirmities. Himself took my itch infirmities. Himself took my knee infirmities, my back infirmities, my hands infirmities, my heart infirmities, my soul infirmities. And he removed them on the stake just as he took all my iniquities and my transgressions. And Yahweh, we give you praise for it. I pray this teaching helps you. I pray this teaching blesses you. I pray this teaching stirs up your faith like it has mine. And that you will go to the next level in your health. That you will go to the next level of deliverance. And that you will go to the next level of walking by faith. And that you will stand strong against any forms of infirmity. And you will pray for those that are infirmed. And watch the power and the gifts of the Spirit flow through you. To deliver them. As you teach them that himself, Yahshua HaMashiach, took not only your transgressions and iniquities, but he took all of your infirmities. And Yahweh be exalted for all the miraculous that will take place. And Father, we just thank you in advance as we believe for greater signs, wonders, and miracles taking place in the body of Messiah and that Torah believers are coming up to understand the fullness of what is written. And we are being delivered of all religious traditions and doctrines of men that say, you just don't know if it's his will. You know it's his will now. So believe it, walk in it, and receive it. If you want to connect with us, we have a website, YahwehYahshuaAssembly.com. We have a Facebook page after the same name, or you can, can connect with me, Mark Pulley, on Facebook. But until next time, Yahweh bless you. Yahweh make his face shine upon you. Yahweh give you peace. Yahweh make a way where there seems to be no way. And never forget that himself took all your infirmities. Until next time, be blessed. Shalom, shalom.